from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, January the 23rd, 2019. The IDF last night struck two positions belonging to terror group Hamas in Gaza after Hamas members shot at IDF troops several times during the day yesterday at the Gaza security fence, as we reported to you, including at an IDF officer who was hit in his helmet by live Palestinian sniper fire and lightly injured. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warned Hamas, who controls Gaza, that Israel is prepared for every scenario and every escalation. DNA belonging to a Jewish terror suspect was said to have been found on the rock that he is suspected of throwing at a Palestinian vehicle last October in the West Bank that killed a 47-year-old Palestinian woman, Aisha Rabi. The remand for the suspect, whose identity remains under a gag order as he is a minor, was extended once again today and an indictment against him, likely for manslaughter, is expected later this week. Israel's President Reuven Rivlin is on an official trip to Paris, meeting today with French President Emmanuel Macron on a number of issues, including the threats that Israel faces and the fight against terrorism. Rivlin said Israel and France stand together at the forefront in opposing global terrorism. Earlier today, Rivlin joined an interfaith dialogue with Jewish and Muslim leaders to address ethnic tension in the area. He stressed that the belief that links Judaism and Islam must be the key to peace, not a justification for violence. Well, the European Parliament held a special ceremony today marking International Holocaust Remembrance Day, which officially is this Sunday. President of the Parliament, Antonio Tajani, addressed the body, warning that anti-Semitism is an ongoing issue. He said it was unacceptable that Jews were leaving Europe because of this. Tajani said we must remain vigilant and we must not be afraid because our values and our history are stronger than hatred and intolerance. Also speaking at the event, Jewish Agency Chairman Isaac Herzog, who said more needed to be done. Herzog said, I'd like to state loud and clear, anti-Semitism in Europe is now a raging crisis again, and it must be stopped. Today's event was organized by the European Jewish Congress and the European Parliament Working Group on Anti-Semitism. Israel opened a new international airport this week, the Ilan and Asaf Ramon Airport, located in the Timna Valley in southern Israel, hopes to boost tourism in the area, in particular to the resort city of Eilat, as well as serve as a backup to Israel's main airport, Ben Gurion International in Tel Aviv. Ilan Ramon, of course, was Israel's first astronaut who was killed in the Columbia Space Shuttle disaster in 2003. His son Asaf was an Israeli Air Force F-16 pilot who died in a training accident in 2009. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the airport will be a focal point of activity with domestic and international flights. It will give us further strategic capabilities in times of normal activity and, when needed, in times of emergency. Israel was named as the fifth most innovative economy in the world by the 2019 Bloomberg Innovation Index. That's up five spots from last year. The criteria used in the rankings includes how much funds countries allocate to research and development, manufacturing capability, and the concentration of high-tech public companies. The United States was ranked in eighth place this year. South Korea topped the list, followed by Germany, Finland, and Switzerland. Renowned American author Joyce Carol Oates has won the 2019 Jerusalem Prize. The 81-year-old said she was deeply honored and referred to a discovery in her family that her paternal grandmother was Jewish, something that was concealed for years. She said, obviously, there is an entire dimension of my life which was inaccessible to me and which I might have considered lost. And so a visit to Israel is likely to be profound and life-changing. The awards will be presented in Jerusalem in May. And an Israeli filmmaker has a shot this year at winning an Academy Award. Guy Nativ's Skin was nominated for Best Live Action Short Film. Nativ was born and raised in Israel, but now lives in Los Angeles.
Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, January the 23rd at 7 o'clock. It's from the Aleph Bet. At 7.35, Knesset member Merav Michaeli and Israeli Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs Sipi Hatoveli debate issues challenging Israeli domestic policy. At 8 o'clock, New York Times columnist Melanie Phillips discusses the plight of European Jewry at the 2018 Jewish Leadership Conference on Jews and Conservatism. At 9 tonight, Mark Golub sits down with the world-renowned cantor, composer, and performer Saul Zim, who talks about his life, career, and his love of Jewish music. At 10, Episode 2 of The Jake Ehrenreich Show, featuring singer Julie Budd. And coming up right after this newscast tonight, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, January the 23rd, 2019. I'm Tisha Bader.